who is ready to read the story of how God changed the heart of Joseph, how God used the wise men to fulfill the plan he had for the world's salvation through Jesus. Beginning in Matthew 1, 18, it says this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born, and Joseph named him Jesus. God can send people. God can send messengers. God can speak to the people that need to be in your life and can turn their hearts toward you just like he did for Joseph and Mary. Thank you, Lord. God, I ask that you would go before us and speak to the people in our lives that need to be in our lives, God, and put on their heart to, to join their life with ours in Jesus' name, just like you did for Joseph and Mary. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw him. We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem, he called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother. The angel said, stay there until I tell you to return because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled the prophet. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all of the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the wise men's report of the first star's appearance. 
Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up and returned to the land of Israel with Jesus and his mother. But when he learned that the new ruler of Judea was Herod's son, he was afraid to go there. Then after being warned in a dream, he left for the region of Galilee. So the family went and lived in a town called Nazareth. This fulfilled what the prophet said, he will be called a Nazarene. When God moved in an unexpected way, when God made a way for Mary to become pregnant, even though she was a virgin, God moved on Joseph's heart to be a part of her life. And God moved on the hearts of the wise men to bless Joseph and Mary and the infant Jesus. God even spoke to Joseph in, in dreams. God sent angels to speak to Joseph to make a way and to provide and to do what was best for Jesus and Mary. God, you know who needs to be in our life. God, you know who you have to be in our life. And I ask that you would just put on those people's hearts that need to be in our life, God. I ask that you would put us on their hearts in Jesus' name. God, we don't know how you'll do it. We don't know how you will make a way for us, but we trust that you will make a way. We trust that you will bring the right people into our lives and that you will move on the hearts of others to help, to help fulfill what you have called us to do. And God, I ask that you would show us how to be a part of what you've called others to do in Jesus' name, just like you did for Joseph. God, I ask that you would open our eyes and show us how to bless others. Show us how to be blessed, to be a blessing to others. And show us how, God, show us how to meet others' needs. Even speak to us in visions and dreams. Even send angels to deliver the message to us in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to give this page a subscribe. Uh, subscribe so you can get notifications of when I make other videos. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it and share it with a friend if you think it would help them. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.